Good evening, everyone. Um, it's my pleasure to be here. Congratulations, Tony. Um, you have quite a background of contribution to the community. I'm always amazed how broad because the Eagle Scouts is a, I, I do my best to attend all Eagle Scouts from my district, so I appreciate Eagle Scouts, all, all of the youth sports, and um, so you've certainly get paid your dues to help the young youth of the town. You've also helped your church in, in the KFC. And um, another charity that I'm appreciative of, of the good work you're doing in the city of Middletown for the homeless and poor, because that's a, uh, it's a neat institution, but that's a great effort you put in. Um, you've certainly given a lot back to your community. I, um, and actually, I, I asked our police chief, I, I still call him chief, but he's that uh, manager now. <laughs> he added, I said, so how has how how he contributed to the community? His main point was, of course, you were on the, the building committee for the, for the police department, so that's his big point. <laughs> so you're, you're a well-rounded individual, even helping construct entities. But as we say, you didn't do it alone, so I would ask the room to give Karen a, 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 a hand of support. With those amount of, of contributions and, and raising a family, you certainly weren't home as much, so uh, Karen does deserve that credit. But it's my pleasure to present a citation. Now, Representative Carpino, she serves on the Public Health Committee, and she's not here because she's still at a public hearing. It's an important issue to all of our the state. The, um, this, they're having a public hearing on the op opioid crisis for the Public Health Committee. So, she, so I talked to her today, and she asked me just to, tell, to send her regards, and she apologizes, but that's certainly a, a worthy and legitimate excuse not to be here. So you guys are stuck with me. I'm second best, but I'll try to do my best. <laughs> so I have an official citation, Tony, if you please. It's official citation from the General Assembly introduced by Representative Christy M. Carpino, 32nd District, myself, Senator Paul R. Doral, 9th District. If you hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly hereby offers its sincere congratulations to Anthony C. Gumbo. <laughs> in recognition of you being named Knights of Columbus DeSoto Council Cromwell Man of the Year for 2017. Your involvement as Assistant Scout Master and the Eagles Scout Advisor Cromwell for the many years demonstrates your commitment to Cromwell as an active member of the Knights and his past Grand Knight. You continue to serve as one of its trustees. We appreciate your dedication. We thank you for your commitment to our community. Congratulations and best wishes. We ran out of space and we couldn't go any farther. It's got some of it. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued success given this 10th day of February 2017 at the State Capitol, Hartford, Connecticut. It's signed by Senator Looney, President of the Senate, Speaker of the House, Joe R. Simowitz, and Secretary of State, Denise Romero. Congratulations, Tony.